If you have a Ring doorbell, then you can trigger any number of Alexa smart bulbs to turn on when the camera detects motion. And that's really cool because you can set up an automation that will act like a security system and you won't need to buy any other expensive smart home gear. Then if the motion goes away, then Alexa resets the bulbs and the automation resets where it's ready to run again. This is a very simple Alexa automation, but it comes in way handy. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now. Device, start the show. You're watching Life Automated with Owen Video. Now you only need two pieces of equipment to run this device, the Ring doorbell and any type of Alexa smart bulb. Now personally, I love Sangled smart bulbs because they work all the time, but also because they're really, really affordable. Some of the other brands out there, they really mark up their price and I think that makes the smart home thing kind of hard to, to maintain. Now I put links to all this stuff in the description box below in case you want to pick it up yourself. When it comes to the Ring doorbell, you can get any generation of the Ring. I have the Ring doorbell plus three, but any Ring brand will do. If I had to do it all over again, I would have bought the Ring doorbell pro for one reason, the Ring Doorbell Pro has an Alexa response feature where Alexa can respond to Amazon delivery and other types of delivery people. I don't have that though, I have the Ring Doorbell Plus. It won't matter for this particular automation. So you can get any Ring Doorbell that you want and a set of smart bulbs, that's all it's gonna take. Let's assume that everything is set up and ready to work and we can go inside the Alexa app. To set up any routine, you're gonna click on more in the lower right hand corner, and then you're gonna click on routines. And this is where you could set up all of your different routines. So we're gonna click on the plus sign in the upper right. And the first thing we're gonna do is enter the routine name. And so I'm gonna call it front motion because this will particularly be for my front door. And then I'm gonna click done and next. All right, so now we're gonna set up the trigger. So I'm gonna click the plus on when this happens. And I'm gonna click on smart home because that's where my camera is. Now it's interesting that it's only giving me the options for my camera and I think it's because I put motion in the name which just shows you how smart Alexa is becoming. So I'm gonna click front door and then I'm gonna go motion when the motion sensor states a change. But notice how I can set up automations if somebody rings the doorbell. So I'm gonna click on motion. Now it's asking me whether motion is detected or not detected. So I'm gonna click detected. So when the front door detects motion and I'm gonna click next. Now what do I do? Well, I'm gonna add the action of turning on a couple different lights. So here's what I wanna do. The first thing I wanna do is go down to Smart Home. You see Smart Home's kinda down there. And then I'm gonna go to All Devices and see where it says Front Light and Garage Lights and Outside Lights. I'm gonna do Outside Lights. And what that does, that will turn the lights on outside. But here's what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add another action and I'm going to turn on the lights inside my house too. Now, not all of them. I'm just gonna turn on the lights sort of in the walkway. And that way it sort of gives that like, you know, Kevin from Home Alone sort of feel like people are in the house even though they're, they're not. Kevin! So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the front lights as well. Make sure that it's set to turn the power on and click next. Now, here's the thing. If there's no further motion, then I wanna turn the lights off. I want them to reset. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna click add an action and I'm gonna go to wait down at the end here. Okay, so I'm gonna go wait. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna just gonna wait two minutes. So if there's no further motion for two minutes, okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn those lights off. So I'm gonna go back into the plus sign to add a new action, click on Smart Home, and I'm just gonna turn off the devices I just turned on. So let's go into bulb, oops, no, it's, it's all devices and it's outside lights and we'll turn those off now, okay? Now notice how it's sort of reorganized and weight is down there. So I can click and drag and move weight two minutes up. You see how that sort of works? And then I'm gonna go plus again, smart home again, all devices, front lights, and I'm gonna turn those off as well. Okay, now let's make sure that everything is in the right order. So it says front lights power off. So I need to grab that and, and pull this all the way down. 
Okay, so it's out of order. I, I, it's out of order. So just, let's just take a look because it's really easy to fix. So it says, you know, outside lights off, outside lights on. I need the two on to be on top. So let's let's go outside lights on, front lights on, then wait two minutes. And then if there's no detection, then it's outside lights off and then front lights off. I'll click save and my routine has been created successfully. Let's give this a test run and see if it worked. Okay, so you see it worked perfect and that's what we wanted it to do. Now, what I would recommend next is to adjust the sensitivity on the ring doorbell so that it's not going off every time a car drives by your house. And you can do that by watching the video next. I'll show you how to go into the ring doorbell app and adjust the motion sensitivity so that you're only getting these motion alerts if somebody's actually on your property. So click the video now to watch that and I hope to see you in the next video.